Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Tutorial, and it's finally the 12th day of Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. I hope everybody has a very wonderful and safe holiday season. Anyway, my last project I have to show you is this little eatsy wincy tiny little mini. Perfect as a last minute stocking stuffer. Fits in the palm of your hand. And it's made from a single sheet, uh, a 6 by 12 sheet of paper. A couple of cuts, a couple of folds, and voila, you got a little mini. Look at this with these, and it's got these cute little tags in these little pouches. Gives you five little spots, and then you end up with a couple of extra pockets here at the ends. But it's just, it's super fast, super quick to make. You just need a 6 by 12 piece of cardstock or um, pattern paper. Probably best to be double sided paper. And what you're going to do is score it down the length. See if I can catch it in the light where it's oh, there. You can see the score lines. So you're going to score it at three inches, and then you're going to score it at every two inches. So it's going to be at two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches, and ten inches. Then on these score lines along this one side, you're going to cut every other one starting at the two inch line. You can cut this with your uh, uh, craft knife or a pair of scissors. So I'm just going to cut it up to that score line, the first one. I'm going to skip the next score line and cut it at this one. And then I'm going to skip the next one and cut it at this one. I'm going to flip it around the other way. I'm going to skip the first one because I cut it on this side. So on this side I'm going to cut alternating to the ones on the other side. So then I'll skip this one and I'll cut right here and then I'll skip that one. So we've got three cuts on one side of the fold. So one, two, three, and then two cuts on this side. So then we're going to fold this all up and it's going to make those little pages. So we're going to start out, have the three folds towards you, and we're going to fold the first one up and finger crease it. We're going to flip our paper over. We're going to fold it to the, its, its neighbor right adjacently. Okay, we're going to flip it back and fold it down. You're just going to be keep flipping back and forth. It's either going to flip across the street or it's going to flip to its neighbor. We're going to flip again and over. Flip again and next door. And flip again across the street. And flip next door. And flip across the street. Flip down. And this last one is going to flip right up. Put a nice finger press. While you're going, you could also do it with your. Um, bone folder. So this first little wing right here is this little pocket that holds and you'll have one down at this other end as well and that's what's going to attach your um, your covers. And then these all create the pockets. We need to just close up this fold. You can glue it but this is only two inches wide so it would make it a very narrow. So what I've done is I've just cut some shapes here. I've just cut some ovals and what I can do is just slip that over the edge and that'll create the pocket. You can use a multitude of things. These I punched out um, these little Christmas trees and that's what's holding those cl pockets close and that will give you your full two inch width by having something that folds over the edge. The next one the opening is going to be on the opposite side so I would have that folding over on this side and so it ends up giving you five little pages. The other thing you're going to need to do is down here at the bottom is once you get your little, here's my little page, here's where it's open so I'll close that. I need to then glue this at the bottom just to give, to hold the bottom of the pocket close so that and that would give us our five pockets. You can also do it as an accordion album if you want to do that as well and just glue them into the pockets. But I like kind of cool how it does that. It's like it's an accordion or it opens this way. But cute little pockets and so tiny little things. So then I've just attached my pockets. I punched a little finger pull and then I just made little one and three quarter inch tag wide tags that fit inside these little two inch pockets. 
cute little stocking stuffer. These could have little tiny pictures on them, or they could be little sayings. You could even make these into little tickets, you know, good for kind of tickets to go into a stocking stuffer. Um, then just a tiny little cover. I just took some trim and um, attached it to the front and back covers to kind of cover up that spine. But easy squeezy, tiny little mini, totally fun to do. I've also made one in a little bit larger size as well. And I'm going to be showing you how to make one like this. And this has a calendar tags in it. And I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these um, after Christmas on one of my Ustream shows in the larger size. This isn't the exact paper I'll use, but gives you an idea of done in a larger size versus the eensy weensy squeensy tiny one. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this 12 um, projects of Christmas again this year. This is my second time I've done it. I'm looking forward already getting some ideas for what I want to do for next year. So everybody have a safe, wonderful, incredible um, holiday season. And I look forward to seeing you next week for um, my New Year's Eve bash. Go to my blog at following the paper trail dot .com, and over on the right hand side bar you'll see some information we're going to be giving away a ton a ton of prizes oh you you won't be able to stand it it is oh my goodness we're giving away some really good stuff there's some prizes that you guys don't know about um some big surprises that um i think you'll be really excited to to do but this is a thank you i've teamed up with scrapadabadoo.com and it's a thank you for all of those of you who've been so supportive of me this um, this past year. Um, it's been just a phenomenal year. And I just want to thank each and every one of you who's been so supportive of me. So I hope you, again, I hope you've enjoyed this 12 Projects of Christmas. And we'll see you next week after Christmas. And we'll talk to you then. Thanks a bunch.